Hi everyone, welcome to Java Express channel. Uh, today I'm going to explain uh, one of the improvement, process API improvement. It is available in Java 9. Why we need actually, okay? If you want to communicate with your operating system, like um, what are the processes are running, okay? You, you want to know what is the process ID. I want to create a process. You want to delete a process. If you want to perform these kind of activities, okay? We need to use some complex native code and we need to use third party jar file. In Java, we don't have that kind of APIs are available. Until Java 8, communicating with OS is kind of a very difficult. In Java 9, okay? To resolve this complexity, JDK engineers, what they done, they introduced enhancements to the process API. By using this API, we can communicate with your application like by using this API, I want to open a notepad file. Yes, you can open the notepad file also very easily. Okay, like what kind of means? You can get the running process, you can create a new process, you can destroy the process, what kind of commands it is using, the complete information you can get by using this process API. This is a new change in Java 9 feature. Okay, now, let me create some uh, a fresh project so that we'll demonstrate you with that example as well. Let me create a Java project, uh, 05 hyphen process API hyphen Java 9. Okay. Now, guys, uh, whatever I'm explaining, these concepts specific to for developers, whichever it is required, those things only I'm explaining to you guys. Okay, it has n number of features. We no need to know all the features in developer point of view. Just you should know uh, whichever it is required as part of your project development. Okay, let me do a process API test. Okay, I'm creating a new class here. These available under one class called process handle. See, this is a interface. By using this interface, it is available in the lang package. We have a method called current method. By using this method, you will get to know current running process. What is the written type? PH process handler is the class. By using here, you can get a complete information for you. Like a information, see here. PH dot, we have a called info. By using this info, Lot of other methods are available. See destroy method and compare to descendants. Lot of some methods are available. Now I am using one of the method called um, info method. By using this method, okay, you have a called info. By using this variable, you can get complete information. See here. Now complete user information you want to know. Suppose complete process information you want to just you can use a info tag have a look let me run this application see the complete process information which user it is okay and what is the command when you are running this application which command is using see if you go to bottom down java w.exe at what time application started at how much total time it took Every how CPU, how much total time you want, the complete information you are getting by using info. You need is specifically the variable names like see here, info dot get. Um, there is a method should be there. There is a user method. Okay, by using I think one of the method should be available. Uh, user. Okay, now by using this, you can get the user information. Okay, which command it is using. If you want to know, info dot. Okay, why well, I'm not getting first initially a command. See, I want to get the, the everything is an optional basically this way. Um, now, info dot at what time application started. Just whenever you are selling a get, this is a written type is a get, uh, optional here. So that's why. Okay, now how much time it took? Uh, okay, total CPU time acquired. Just you want to display some messages like info dot, uh, see, total CPU duration. Like this, you can get individual information as well, or else Java. See, 
this is the complete information you can get it as part of our api development much we will not use this process api but based on the use case based on the requirement wherever you want you can use this api as well okay that's all about the process api updates thank you guys